Welcome back to my channel. So it is sunny out, it's the springtime, it's getting warmer, and when this happens, I always get an urge to want to clean my car. Now I've had a lot of you guys say different things that if I've showed you a dirty part in my house, you're like, what? You have a dirty house or dirty parts of your house? And it's like, come on, of course my house gets dirty. Um, I do like to clean, but my house gets dirty. But you probably would be super surprised to see my car because um, I would say my car is the one thing in my life that when it comes to getting dirty, I let it happen. So like if I know that my kitchen's dirty, I have to like make a plan, like I'm gonna clean it. Or if our basement or whatever is dirty, I it drives me crazy and I can't let it just stay dirty and I make a plan and I clean it. Well, that's not the case with my car. With my car, especially because I live in Ohio, Northern Ohio, so we have snow and ice and salt. And if you live in that type of climate, you know what type of, or what that salt can do to your car and your shoes and all that. So it becomes a mess. So what happens a lot is I just let my car kind of become a disaster in the winter time because like really what's the point? And then when it gets nicer out and all the snow is moved out and no more salt and ice and snow, then I will We'll give it a good deep cleaning and then I try to keep it pretty clean all summer so again I'm gonna show you some clips of my dirty car it's not clean but I'm going to you know really get in there and clean it um, right now now I wanted to share with you guys some of the tips and tricks and hacks that I use to clean my car because we know that cleaning a car isn't exactly fun and it can be a huge chore um, but there are some hacks that I've learned over the years some kind of all auto detailing hacks that I've learned that make cleaning uh, my car easier and it also makes my car look super clean. So I'm going to share those with you guys today. We all get bugs on the front of our cars. It's inevitable when we drive. And have you guys ever tried to scrub off all of the dried bugs off of your car's front grill? I will tell you this much, it is a not an easy task. And an easy way that I have found to get those bugs off of your car, just grab a dryer sheet from your laundry room, get it wet, and the anti-static that is present in the dryer sheet will help lift the grime from the grills with little to no effort. This is crucial. Make sure you're getting your dryer sheet wet and then just wipe away on your grill. Then you'll have a bug-free car. all of our cars get dirty and one of the things you want to make sure is clean and not cloudy at all are your headlights where i live we have a lot of snow and fog and a lot of other crazy elements so it's really important for me to have my headlights working and nice and bright when i'm driving so to give your headlights a good cleaning even if they're cloudy or yellow all you have to do is get some toothpaste Use a paper towel to completely coat your headlights and toothpaste and let it sit for a few minutes before you really get to scrubbing. This will allow the paste to lift the oxidation that has taken place and warped your lights. Then simply take a toothbrush and begin to lightly scrub at your lights, working the toothpaste into the plastic lights. To remove, just rinse with warm water and pat and air dry. I loved, absolutely loved seeing the shiny clean headlights when I was done. If you guys have pets like I do, you probably have a lot of fur, a big fur problem in your car. We try and use a blanket or a sheet to cover up our back area where our dog sits when she's in the car, but that doesn't always work. So when I need to clean the furniture in the car, I found that just using my regular old rubber cleaning gloves really helps remove 
any fur that's on the furniture. We have these really scratchy Velcro type seats on the back um, and when they're down, that's where my dog sits. I just put on the gloves on my hands and rub the seats in one direction. The fur gets compiled in one clump and then all I have to do is grab all of that fur in the clump and it's easily off. This helpful hack isn't too exciting, but it's something that has come in handy so many times with me, and it helps keep my car super clean. I just keep baby wipes in my car. It's really that simple. That way I can grab them whenever I drop some coffee, or if I'm eating lunch in my car, I can grab it and wipe spills up immediately. And this comes in handy if you have kids because we know they make a lot of messes. This next hack is dual purpose and ended up being a fun activity for me and my daughter Avery to do. Plus, we got some good cleaning out of it. We simply made slime. Yes, exactly what you're thinking. Slime to help pick up all of the crumbs and sticky stuff in my car. I will put all of the ingredients that we used to make this slime, but it was just a few ingredients. My car had a lot of crumbs and hard to reach areas, so I just used the sticky slime to get in all of those cracks and crevices, and it picked up crumbs like a charm. You can also use the slime in all areas of your house to get some of the hard to reach places. One of the best ways I have found to clean the inside of my car windows without getting streaks is to use a mixture of rubbing alcohol and water. So I just mixed up a spray bottle of half rubbing alcohol and the rest water. This helps leave a streak free shine inside of my car as well as clean up all of my windows. You can also use rubbing alcohol to help seal the windshield wiper blade, helping to make it slide more easily across your windshield. Just take some rubbing alcohol, put it across the rubber part of the wiper blade and it will seal it and make it slide more easily. My last hack is utilizing an oil that I love using in my kitchen, olive oil. I found that it's a really great mild and natural leather treatment for the inside of my car. Don't apply it directly to the seats or dashboard. So instead, just put some olive oil on a microfiber cloth and gently wipe the area. Try not to scrub, but just gently wiping. This helps my car become very shiny and look a lot nicer. Make sure you scrub thoroughly because there can be streaks left if you don't buff it out all of the way. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And what I want you to do is pick a nice sunny day, crank the tunes and go out and deep clean your car. You will feel so much better. I mean, it's something we're in all the time on a daily basis. So go out and give your car a good deep cleaning. And if you have any good car cleaning hacks, let me know in the comments down below. We can share that with everybody because cleaning car isn't exactly fun. Fun. So if we have some little shortcuts, everybody can benefit for that. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.